Hello everybody, welcome back to Couple Gaming. Today we're trying Tinker the Town. And now we're creating the Tinker Town character. I know I saw an ad on it a couple of days ago, it looked kind of interesting, it's kind of a combination in Minecraft and Terraria and some other things, so it might be looking nice. Okay, perfect, I name more character. Something, 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 come on. Okay, we're gonna name our character a very uninspired name. It looks very hot though. The name definitely is hot. And then we press create. And then the game created. And then you click on the ease. And then we create a new world. And by the way, this you can play co-op as well if you want, if you'd like to. We also have free exploration on adventure mode. We're gonna try adventure mode because that's the way the game meant to be played first time. So, we're gonna name our game Rexalalala and then we're gonna create. And after we click create, the game will create the game behind the game on the high and the bang, the game, the game, the bang, the bench, bang, bang. I'm sorry, it's so hot up in this bitch. It's, it's sometimes the brain just liquefied itself and just coming out the ears. As you can see now, because you hit create, it's definitely creating something. Probably. Or it might be stuck. We have no idea. We should probably hit create again. Yep. That's bullshit. Now we're gonna click single player. And now the game is starting. So make sure you double click things because it seems uh, the game doesn't understand the value of a single fucking click. Because sometimes just one click it's enough to click behind the clicking of the click. Smell this. Does it smell like Ustroy? Okay, now we can uh, see Potion can increase your attribute score tool. And now we started the game, as you can see, graphically speaking, very nice, very nice, very nice. Now we're gonna move and talk to the Sage the Elder. Sage the Elder, it's uh, the dude in the grip. Yeah. And you're gonna right click it, good job. As you can see, now we're gonna take the first quest, actually all the quests. The nights in the forest as especially frightening goblins and other creatures roam the land after sunset and ambush those who rest without shelter. So let's build the first base, gather 30 wood and 30 stones, return to me with these resources and I'll give you some items that will help you while you're exploring the forest! And now we're gonna get the welcome uh, to Tinkertown. Welcome adventurer, my name is Sage, I'm an explorer who traveled the world until I got trapped inside this forest, just as you are now. In the old days, druids from this forest created a barrier around the area, hoping to save themselves from a magical calamity. But their effort didn't help and the calamity still affects the forest, twisting it into a dangerous place. Okay. <clears throat> so the main idea of this game, if you go map, I think, if you go map. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. So, at one point in this particular region, you're gonna... Um, you're gonna get heated with um, the correct answer is with a barrier. So each of these like uh, spaces has a boss at the end of it. So you need to defeat the boss to move to a new area and rinse and repeat pretty much. Perfect. Now you can craft the workbench. Yeah, <laughs> look at that giant wood. <laughs> okay, let's create the workbench by pressing tab. Okay, workbench. We need ten workbenches. We need ten wood, not workbench. Oh, just ten workbench. So you cannot destroy the giant tree tree. I'm guessing it's a no no. Okay, that's four. Have you checked the barrels, or destroy the barrels at least? You got the bone oh, bone workbench. What the fuck? Huh? Skeleton chest plate. Oh, look, there's another bonish down there. Look, a fishy down there. I like the graphics. It's very nice. I like the flowers just uh, wavering around like they don't care. You know what I mean? Oh, look, there's some berries on the right side as well. Hmm, nice. Berries! Nice. Oh, we got the berry jam. With the jam with the berries, brah. We can jam with the berries. We got 11, 12 wood. Should we just... I think we should create a workbench in theory. We could make an axe or something, right? Hopefully. Yeah. We can craft. 
Okay, perfect. Now use the crafting from the inventory to place it down. Okay. Perfect. All right there. I don't care. Okay, let's see what we can do. Interact with that. How oh, how? Oh, it's quite a lot of them. Oh, scroll down, scroll down. Nice. So it wasn't in this. Okay, let's just uh, then um, get gather 30 wood as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, I don't think it's in the bone workbench to be honest with you either. So the big trees cannot be fucked? Okay, can you destroy the stones? Yeah, you can. Can you swim? We're testing theories at the moment. You cannot, okay. That's a giant head right there. Okay, we're going this and 10, and then uh, this should be 12, I think. No, yeah, 12, okay, perfect. At least the stone gives us like four each, right? Oh, look, there's a lot of stone around here. That's nice. And also we have N, if you want to see the whole area of the map. Oh, that's oh. actually better. Just destroy. Yeah, how about, yeah. Destroy the bushes as well. Okay, so bushes is more important, huh? Okay, glad to know. Glad to hear. Glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Bushes are important. Let's try the more bushes then. Oh yeah, just destroy bushes. I think right. Yeah, yeah much more wood than uh, much better information. If you know what I mean. I heard the wolf. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's just return to Sage. He can help us. Yeah, those there were bushes and rocks. You could have just destroyed them. Holy shit! We have a red slime. The slime it's red. Okay, so Sage should be there. Sage, I got your ship, brah. Okay, great adventure. Now that's all about turning the rest into a little home so you can rest peaceful at night. Oh, and here's a promised reward. Some food and potions to recover your health and torches to light up your home. The creatures of the night avoid any light the best they can and torches also make your home way more comfortable. Let's go, Elder's house. Adventure, I'd like to join you as a town name. I will guide you on your journey if you accept my offer. I'll need a place to live. The place has a feature on an area of at least five units surrounded by walls with a door, a bed and a globe. And most important, a soul trinket. It summons its owner and allows him to check and claim a house here. This is my trinket. Okay, so we just need to build him a house. Just like us, others may end up stranding in this forest through magical anomalies. Do them a favor, offer them a house, and they will most likely join you without hesitation. Such townians can help you with their expertise, skills, and services. Should your path cross of another travel, use this opportunity to make a new alley. I mean, it makes sense, right? Okay, let's build a house. Place the wall with doors. Oh, look, now you have crafting available. Look on the right. Do you see? I mean the stone pickaxe and stone axe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, good do it. Just craft one. And an axe as well, just in case. Okay, let's uh, see down there. I think this is normal. I think you should enter the crafting bench. And maybe this time it will be better with all the resources. Uh, yeah, mailbox, dungeon globe. Alright, let's go down down. Okay, square, empty shelf, bookcase, birdhouse. It's <laughs> a birdhouse, really? Oh, there you go, wooden door. To go down. Go down. A, li a little up, actually, sorry. And there you go, wooden door and uh, wooden walls. And a wooden floor as well. Okay, so we need one wooden door. Just one, perfect. Just, uh, he said five, so make ten, I guess, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, craft 10 and then make some wooden floors if you can. Yeah, make 8. Right? Craft and then you need two more stone, uh, two more uh, wood so we can make 10 wooden floor, right? 
So maybe equip your uh, pickaxe and axe in the main slot. Perfect. And let's try and chopping down a giant tree this time. <laughs> Damn, that's a giant axe. Good job. Nice. Oh, nice. So we just need two more from the workbench. No? Okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, we also need to craft a dungeon globe. The first one. For him. Ah, we don't need it yet. Okay. And uh, wooden floor, wooden floor right there. And three more, right? Or two, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, let's start building and see what's up. Let's uh, clear this area a little right here, right? What do you think? Perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let's start uh, placing the house. Uh, let's see the building mechanics and shit of this game. I think the walls first, right? Yeah, let's do this. So, door. Jesus, that giant. Okay. Yeah, perfect, right? Ha! That looks nice. Interact with it. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, let's go. Now the walls. One, two, three. Okay, so it needs to have five inside. So that means one, two, three, four, five. It's all the way there into the column. Is that? No, it's literally in the back five, like, or generally five, maybe. Huh? That should be good. Uh huh. I mean, if it lets you go for it, right? Ah, you need to destroy that shit. What you doing? You need more wood. Didn't we make that? Wasn't enough? Nope. And why didn't you destroy the tree that's blocking us from building either way? Oh, but there you have torches as well. Why don't you put them around the house to make them easier for yourself in the darkness? It didn't give us torches? Huh? Let's see if you can place them. Oh, do you want to place them on the house? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, perfect. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, that looks hot. That looks hot. Okay. See the tree. I think destroy the bushes as well. Or I think the bushes was the one that actually stopping you. What do you think? Probably both. Yeah, probably the bushes 100%. Okay, perfect. Destroy this one. We need to destroy that one on the left as well by the looks of it, huh? Yeah, at least we get more materials, like... No? Jesus! Okay, perfect. Let's place them cunts. I mean, let's craft some cunts, I guess, right? Yeah, we definitely need to craft some cunts. Why didn't you put one more on the right? It's one, two, three on the left, one, two on the right? Yeah, sure, doesn't matter. Yeah, that looks nice actually. Okay, so we need more walls. Definitely more walls. Just do more walls, you're probably gonna need to do your own house as well. Just do 20. Yeah, perfect. And some just, I guess, 20 wooden floor, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's do this shit. Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Perfect. So now we need to do the floor inside as well. Can you just not place it under? Go for it. Yeah, I think that's the best option to actually make it look good, right? Oh yeah, that looks nice. I don't seem to be able to see it on the outside per se, so I'm okay with that, right? Hmm. I think over there as well, right? 
Uh -huh. and on the right side as well. And one more right there. On the left. On the right, sorry. Uh, 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 left. Yes. Perfect. Now we need to place a bed. Bed. What the fuck is the bed? Keep going now. I know for sure we saw the bed, right? Ah, oh, look, wooden bed right there. We need cloth. Uh, I think just craft all the tables first. Right? Do we have. Uh, I know for sure we. Not the bookshelf, 100%. Uh, I think we could uh, tab it. Tab it. Tab it for the moment. So we can make string like that. Go with the furnace for the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do that as well. I don't know what it's gonna do, but fuck it, right? Put them nicely around here ish somewhere. We can probably move them later on, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Turn it around, I think. About hold and drag like normal, I guess. No, I think you just placed it. Yeah. Ah, it doesn't matter, it works. Place the other one as well. Sure, fuck it. Let's see what that one has to offer. Okay, cobblestone, iron, blah, 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 stone walls. Okay, the other one. S coffin. Fuck. Bone door. Oh, we're making ourselves the bone fucking house. What do you think? Okay, let's cloth. So we need... Just go explore, that means. Pretty much. Oh, look, it has shadows on the building. See, it goes. Look. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Look, that all definitely copper. Okay, perfect. Take all the copper. Yeah, it's copper. Why is that rock like a teddy bear down there? You see it? Mm -hmm. No, the teddy bear! It's cold. You disgust me. Shouldn't I have made a sword? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Mm. You forgot to take that one. Yeah, perfect. Just go explore, you're definitely gonna need it. Uh, have you tried destroying the flowers? Might be. Might be, I don't know. No? Okay. Open the map. I see where we can go on the other side, right? N is the map. Ah. Look, if you look down there, you see there's a path going on to the other side. But keep going forward, let's see what we can have. Like up, I meant forward. But it works like that as well. Jesus, that's a big giant ore. Vein thingy. Huh? What the fuck is that? In the water. No idea. Looks nice though. Alchemy table. Red gel. Okay. I think it was probably a monster who I think killed himself. Look, I think you can go through here, right? No, you cannot. Okay. Okay, we're definitely trying to search for that shit. Good job. Let's keep going, keep going. Green slime over there. Oh, look, a lot of mushrooms on the left. Leather mushroom. Aha! Uh -huh. So mushrooms are leather in this game. Interesting, right? Yeah. So we need to go down and then onto the left side to move to the other area. What's up with the red thing is? Ah, it's just still normal trees, okay. I mean, you could still attack them with the pickaxe or the axe, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look, it appears on the minimap now. <laughs> the house. I think enough wood, bro. Let's go down. And let's see if we can get out of here through that area right here on the left. Oh, look, another bone thingy. And make sure we, uh, you equip it up. You should also maybe put a barrel down and put some shit into it. Just so you know. You already have a barrel on you, that's what I'm saying. Maybe put it in the house, what comes to us, right? Oh my god. And I'm guessing put the... Sure, I guess. Yeah, copper ore, that's good, why not? You need to place that in the uh, shore. Um, put the copper ore as well, or the stone. Okay, perfect. Let's go. It should bring us a little bit of space, if you know what I mean. Sure, max maximize it. Ah, good job. Okay, let's go. Oh, now we can make an anvil. Mm, interesting. Yeah, look, the anvil is down there. Oh, it's five. Yeah, with the, you don't have space for it. So yeah, let's go down. You should be able to go onto the left now, on that area. Oh yeah, we can. Look, there's some blue shit there. Do you see the blue shit? Up. What's the blue shit though? Okay. What's that tree there? That? Yeah. Coconut peach cream. Okay, let's see the combat then. We need to get used to the combat. Holy shit. Have you tried spacing? Can you roll? Oh, you can jump. Hello. Oh, painting small. Carpet yellow. Oh, look, pumpkins. Pumpkin pie. Huh. Pumpkin soup. Interesting. We got more coal right there. You should grab them because it's one coal per, uh, you know. Let's keep going. If I eat shit, do I see it? I do. Yeah, go for it. You have bread. Just eat bread. It doesn't, ah, it doesn't matter. It's baked either way. Let's go. Nice. Damn, the healing is quite nice though. What does your right click do? Nothing. Good job. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, if we manage to do some more things about this game, we're probably gonna film another episode. <laughs> but at least to get the point. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace.